Hello, my name's Ray Avery, and in 2010, I was lucky enough to be awarded the Blake Medal from the Sabita Blake Trust, and also named New Zealand of the Year for the invention of technology to manufacture these wonderful low-cost interocular lenses. These tiny lenses have helped to restore the sight of millions of people throughout the developing world, and that's something I'm very, very proud of. Like you, I've always regarded Sir Peter Blake as a hero. His leadership style was truly extraordinary, and he was undoubtedly our greatest shotsman, a brave adventurer and a passionate environmentalist. Sir Peter's impressive achievements put New Zealand on the world stage. Today, I've got together with other great leaders from around New Zealand who draw on inspiration from Sir Peter Blake, and we would like to share our stories of leadership with you. My biggest accomplishment was winning the Olympics in 2004. You have to be prepared to take some big risks, some calculated risks, and be prepared to literally lose everything for the ultimate prize. Being a, a great leader or being a, a, a good role model is, for me, I think it's, it's having the guts to be different. It's having the confidence to stand out from the crowd. Being a good leader is, is someone that shows confidence in themselves and confidence in what they're doing to grab their passion by the throat and rip into it 150%, which can be incredibly inspiring. When people ask me who are my mentors, it's my parents. The fact that they came here to a new country, a new culture, a new language. It was all, don't waste this opportunity. It was all, we're in New Zealand now, make the most of it. I think I was always a smart kid. And so I knew what was possible. I never wanted to be limited by other people's perceptions. And so I resolved to not ever do that. So I think leaders are important for actually being an example of what is possible with life. I've ridden all over the world and I was riding a horse as a favour for a friend and unfortunately just took the jump too high, landed a little bit short and somersaulted over the jump. And as soon as I broke my neck and I was lying there, I knew it was serious. The key attributes to being a great leader, uh, I think it's really important to be honest. For me, it's all about values, and I believe if you stick true to your values and you're honest and upfront, it's one of the most important traits you can possibly have. At school, I was short-sighted, so I couldn't see the board, and I was dyslexic, so I was cut off from the world. You can't change the cards that you're dealt, but you can certainly change the way you play them. My definition of leadership is somebody who um, exemplifies um, the hopes and dreams of a society. You're going where nobody generally has gone before and you're breaking all the rules. People that are crazy enough to believe they can change the world are the ones that do. Leadership in action is believing entirely in what you're doing, 100%. When you're really passionate about something, at the end of the day, that filters through. It's all about inspired people wanting to make a difference. When there's been conflict or you're trying to rebuild a nation, it's about understanding the people that you're trying to help having a degree of empathy and winning their hearts and minds, helping them to help themselves. Leadership sometimes through trial and error. The key, I think, is to learn from that and to try and do better next time. Ever since I was about five years old, I've just had this dream of going to Antarctica. And when the opportunity came for an Antarctic Youth Ambassador, I was very keen to put out my hand. Leadership is about um, inspiring people and um, getting, leading them with confidence and getting them motivated and involved in a project that they're really passionate about. Everyone has this amazing potential within them to achieve great things and it's just encouraging them and motivating them to reach into their hearts and find that inspiration and just live the dream that they are passionate about. As you can see, the qualities of our great leader, Sir Peter Blake, live on in many New Zealanders. Courage, determination and perseverance have helped Kiwis achieve great things. Today, I encourage you to be a leader in your family, in your schools, and in your community. If I can do it, you can do it too. Get out there and be a leader of tomorrow. If you have a dream, if you have an idea, if you have a passion, just go out and reach for that. So I really encourage and inspire any, anyone and everyone to just go, go for their goals and dreams with all of their hearts. I would like to see more marine reserves, but I would like it 
to be something that comes from the communities. So in order to do that, we need to be out there empowering them and inspiring them to want to make those changes. The most thrill comes from the, the greatest challenges. No pain, no gain. <laughs> whatever your gig is, whatever your passion is, whatever makes you fizz, if everyone around here is, is grabbing something by, you know, by the scruff of the neck and, and launching into it with 150%, uh, it's going to be a pretty, pretty cool community to be part of. I have a very dear friend uh, who's 70 something. She gave me some great advice. She said, Oscar, just keep living till you die. I like that. So far, my greatest achievement, I believe, is probably setting up the Catwalk Trust. And we raise money for spinal cord injury research. We're going to have people back on their feet again. If it's not in my lifetime, it's going to be in the children of today's lifetime. It's only because of the generosity and the intelligence and the smarts of New Zealanders, who are a very clever nation, that we can do this stuff. So Peter Blake exemplified that. He was a world leader in his particular area. And we have so many world leaders in New Zealand. So we have a lot to be proud of.